Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Halima. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Okay, welcome once again. Um, I can see I've had new subscribers. It's been quite a long time since I actually sat down to do um, a YouTube video tutorial, um, makeup tutorial. It's been a while, just been so busy with um, workload and things like that. I really apologize for all that way. Okay, so today, today program is all about um, trying out a new foundation so this specific new foundation that i'm actually aiming to try okay is fainting um foundation um i've not tried any any of the fainting makeup before so this is my first trial of a fainting products okay by Rihanna since uh, she launched her makeup products. So this specific one that I'm taste, I'm aiming to test today, okay, is um, the Pro Filter Matte Soft Matte Foundation. Is this one here? Okay, so that's what I'm aiming to try. So basically, let's read what it stated. It says Pro Filter, and it's a soft matte um, long wear foundation. Aim to last 24 hours. Mm, really? Okay. So this is my first time trying out this foundation. So I hope I'm gonna like it. Um, this this is the only foundation that I'm actually, or let's say, fountain products I'm incorporating into my makeup. Hype about this specific foundation. Um, much talk less about the whole fountain products, but this specific fountain um, pro filter. There's so much hype about it, so I want to see what the hype is all about. Okay, because sometimes when there's so much hype about a product, you really want to figure out what is it that people are talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try today, and hopefully, I'm gonna like it. Okay. So you guys stick with me and let's get on with this video. Without any further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So, first of all, I am going to spray my skin, prep my skin, I've already cleaned my skin and all that stuff. Okay, so I've got, I normally like to spray my face with the, um, you know, finishing spray. It can sometimes really helps to sink in with the foundation. Now I'm going to spray a little bit of this. Is um, invisible fix and it's L'Oreal. Oh, it feels really nice and cool. Yeah. Okay, so once that is done, I'll wait for it to dry a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my primer. So the primer that I'm using today is Maybelline Face Studio Prime. Is this one here? I'm just squirting, squirting a little bit of this primer onto the back of my hand. And I'm gonna really literally just tap it on my face. The color that I am using is Pro Filler 385. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Yeah, 385 Pro Filler and is Fenting by Fenting Beauty. Okay, so let's put it to a test. So I'm just gonna square a bit, a little bit. Oh, actually, let me shake it a little while because I've not, since I, I bought it. And took it out of the package. I've not actually, you know, used it. So let's use it today. I'm really excited. Honestly, I am. <laughs> I really like trying new makeup. So I'm going to just square spray a little bit of the finishing spray onto the beauty blender so the beauty blender that i'm using is by real techniques i love their beauty blender it's so nice and soft it's just melting onto the skin okay so let's get on with this foundation testing trial and see what all the hype is all about okay um i think this is the best color for me i think so because now, because of the COVID, when you go to buy makeup, like specific, like foundation, the makeup artists that works with their company are not allowed to actually uh, test it on you. So you basically have to do your own testing. And it's hard to determine your own color. You know, sometimes it's good when they try on you and they try a different type and then you'll be able to tell which one is best for you and all that stuff okay but they're not allowed to do that anymore because of covid you know 
so I basically did my own testing so I'm just hoping that this is the right color for me oh uh, well I did try it I did try it on um, at the store I bought it from Harvey Nichols I did try it and it seems to be okay but then I don't know you guys probably have to tell me if it's okay or not because in the store was like an indoor and the girls the lady that said me she was like yeah that's your best march that's your best color blah 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 but you know these people that works and makeup artists they will say anything just to get you to buy it <laughs> am i right or wrong anyway um i've i've actually worked as a beauty consultant before so i know the still thing the techniques that they use to get people to buy you know i'm not i'm not saying you lie, but to tell the customer that it's good or it's, it's, it's good even though it's bad, but it, you know, they were like, oh yeah, that's the right color. So anyway, I always make sure when I put in my foundation, I always make sure it goes around the chin, you know, around the ears because you don't want to wear it, come out of the house looking like a, like you've got a mask on, you know, so the side always is definitely right guys let's do this it's just a quick one this is just a quick um tutorial or review about this specific foundation that i've not tried before and like i said there's so much hype about it so i really want to put it to a test to see whether it really means what it says and so far i think if i come closer i can see that it's really soft my face feels really like soft very lightweight that doesn't even feel like i've got foundation on so to finish i don't even think i need a concealer but hey every bit every bit of everything really does matter you know i don't know do you guys think i need a concealer do you think i need to put a concealer on perhaps not but let's see if it will make any difference really I'm just gonna dump a bit at the top here okay and then a bit down here somewhere Let's see if we'll make any difference. It might do, but I'm definitely going to be. This is going to be my next makeup to buy, or should I say, foundation? Um, like I said, I'm trying to incorporate um, Fantine Beauty products onto my skincare regime, and I think. This is just definitely a must have in your makeup. The foundation is a lit. It is really, really good. I'm impressed. So far, so good, basically. So I'm gonna use the same beauty blender to, um, you know, soften it up, okay? So let's go. This is a good foundation, right, okay? So, now that I've put the foundation on, I've put the concealer on, I'm literally gonna go behind the scene, okay, to finish the look, because this look was, or this tutorial is mainly about the Pro Filler Foundation, okay, by um, Fenty Beauty. So, I'm just gonna go around behind the scene to finish the look, and I'll be back to tell you guys what I think of this product okay so hi guys welcome back so I have gone over the scene to basically finish this look and this is it so this is my um, review on the pro filter um, foundation by beauty and um, Fenty Beauty okay so this is my review I think what I what if I am gonna give um, a score out of this for this specific foundation and uh, pro filter um foundation by rihanna okay or well, fenty beauty by rihanna i would say this foundation definitely worth all the hype and i'll give it 10 out of 10 okay definitely because this foundation have really given me an amazing coverage the coverage is amazing honestly yeah it's just literally it's lightweight i'll give it the you know i'm gonna give it my sincere review 
okay this is my sincere review I've not been paid for this tutorial or this specific review okay this is me giving my honest review the coverage okay it's amazing because it's covered a lot I had a lot of a bit of blemishes here and there and I had a bit of scar on my chin and I would say and a bit of redness I don't know when I started my makeup you guys saw a bit of redness on my cheek area that is disappeared okay the foundation feels so light on on the skin it doesn't feel like proper heavy you know caked up foundation it feels so light and I really definitely I'm gonna give it a massive big fat thumb up to say yes it definitely worth all the hype that people have been talking about that this foundation is amazing it gives a good coverage it's soft matte uh, soft matte on the skin and it, you know in regards to how long it will last um i'll probably say yes it's definitely gonna last 24 hours okay i have an oily skin and i would say this is the perfect foundation for anybody that have an oily skin combination to oily skin this is the perfect foundation for those kind of skin type okay i will say yes it does worth all the hype and i'm glad i actually took out my pennies to buy this foundation because i love how it feels on my skin and, um i love it i mean you guys look at my skin okay look, look how radiant my skin look my skin looks so beautiful soft matte radiant you know everything is just in place you know i've not put a lot of make like you know um other products on i just decided to just keep it as soft as you know possible and nude and basically i look beautiful um yeah my skin looks really radiant and i will highly recommend for anybody who is looking for a very good foundation for a good coverage um, you know for their skin type i'll highly recommend fenton beauty um i've not used any of her products yet but this specific foundation pro filter soft matte i will highly recommend it to anybody that wants to have this kind of radiant soft matte um glowy complexion you know and I, even my open pores are all kind of like disappeared if i come closer to the camera you can see that everything is in place so yeah definitely a big fun thumb up for rihanna for inventing this product highly highly recommend for anybody who wants to have their skin soft and matte so yeah so guys this is my review for the soft matte pro filter foundation and yes the hype worth it it definitely worth the hype and um thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video today so if you like what you see just give it a subscribe subscribe to my channel okay the more the merry share among your friends um share my videos and um, leave me a comment and like and that's it guys thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time bye, -bye.